to be honest. <laughs> but, but Scott, think about if you were in his shoes or if I were in his shoes, don't you think that um, that situation would be met with more, um, uh, I mean, insight, like people would be dissecting everything about that. And, and my thing is, uh, one way, it doesn't matter to me about this because I, I barely know him. I think I posted a video of him once or twice, but I'm I'm, I'm trying to uh, get some questions answered that a lot of people were were um, asking. And don't you why I'm I'm trying to get to the point is why is he getting the pass when nobody else get gets a pass for 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 things like this. <sighs> There's a couple reasons why. Again, I think one part is that part of the people that should be holding to account are people who have been following him for a period of time and have bought into the Gonzalo Lira mystique. And if you start if you start questioning the Messiah, you start to question everything you believe in. So if you've, if you've rebuilt your life around the teachings of Gonzalo Lira, your lifestyle coach, uh, you you can't allow him to be diminished in any way. And so they're going to give him the benefit of the doubt plus over because that's reflected on. Now, there's a whole group of people that didn't know him beforehand, but they went to the round table. And they were in the round table, the round table being this uh, this, this this discussion group that he would have. Um, and for them to start to question Gonzalo Lear today begs the question, why didn't you question? Why didn't you question him when he was doing the roundtable? Um, and they don't want to answer that question because the, the the answers, no, you know, there's not too many people who want to look in the mirror and say I was a dupe. Oh, I was a dupe. I mean, that's the most honest thing to say is I was a dupe. Look, if I had gone to the roundtable after his arrest today, I'd be going out saying I was a dupe. I was an idiot. I should have been more questioning. I should have asked more questions. I shouldn't have participated in this. But there's a lot of people out there right now, especially. I mean, again, I like these guys, uh, the two Alexes at the Duran. I, I think highly of them. But, um, you know, they helped create Gonzalo Lira. They helped create the, the roundtable. They were part of this thing. And so how can they possibly look critically at this? What they've done is say they don't want to look at it at all. What they're saying is all we care about is releasing Gonzalo Lira. We want him released. Okay, I, I, I respect that. And I think all of us would like to see as a human being him released. Nobody wants harm to come to Gonzalo Lira. But the fact that you refuse to critically, critically examine any aspect of the story to, as you said, hold him to the same. Now, what people will say is, well, he's been behind bars. He can't defend himself right now. We shouldn't be holding him to account until he can come out and defend himself. Eh, no, nope, I disagree. Um, he's a public figure. We don't give anybody else that benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, if if if, if you know, it, it, they 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 lock people up all the time, and the and the newspapers go crazy about what was going on. What went on when this happened? What went on when that happened? Nobody said, "Hey, don't talk about that till that person's out of prison." They can defend themselves. That was him. Do I think we should, you know, be respectful of certain aspects of the story? I do. I think there's things that. Um, you know, we can say, well, we don't know, and we, we probably these are questions we'd like to ask. But there's other things that we do know. We do know he claimed to have broken ribs. <laughs> we do know that he claimed to ride a motorcycle for 1,400 miles with broken ribs. I couldn't walk 14 steps with broken ribs. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it's just fair to raise that point. It doesn't mean maybe Gonzalo Lira, you know, is the the guy with the greatest physical. Oh, he does. He isn't. At least claims that that hard. He's smoking, sort of heavy and fat, soft, and all that. But maybe behind, under that marshmallow exterior, there's this core of steel that he can, you know, zen-like go mm, and make the pain go away while he's riding his motorcycle on the bumpy Ukrainian roads. Even doing that, you know, that would hurt if he had broken rib, right? Be <laughs> So anyway, I, I don't know. I, I think again, we come down to what I talked about. Uh, Behavioral psychology. This entire Gonzalo Lira uh, you know, event uh, should be written up someday as a case study in behavioral psychology, a human behavioral psychology. You could keep college courses on this wrong. 